Hello, hello my friends. It's been a while. I'm like on a walk with, uh, I, was, I keep saying Everly. I'm on a walk, so sorry if all of the movement, close your eyes and just listen. <laughs> um, I'm on a walk with Montgomery right now. And I was thinking to myself um, about, I joined this seminar this week. Yeah, I'm jumping right into it, okay? I joined this seminar this week and the woman was talking and she's a big, you know, YouTuber and she was just saying, and she does like a lot of like family vlogs and she was saying that, you know, the people that are watching her are the people that genuinely care about her and her family. They don't, they don't, how, how do I word it? They... I don't know they're just there for her it doesn't matter if she has makeup on it doesn't matter if she's a complete mess like the people that choose to come to her channel and watch her videos are those people that like connect with her that's her community and it just made me realize that like I haven't been really filming and stuff because I always feel the need to like I need to do my makeup I need to look presentable people want to watch people that look good I mean that is the society let's face it but um then I like came to the conclusion that the people that are on this vlog channel I feel like are my writer dies like you you guys are the people that like genuinely connect with me with Sammy not not so much like the crafter I mean that's how you know majority of us have connected Oh God, I thought that was a ginormous praying mantis. It was just a piece of grass. Um, but in, in whole, you connect with me as a person. You connect with the fact that like, I am a mom, a wife, you know, that I'm trying to run my own business. You connect with the... Where are you? Where are you? Hi. Yeah, she loves her box in the morning. But you guys aren't here for my makeup and my hair and nice clothes. You don't care about those things. And I need to stop caring about it because that's not why you guys come here. You guys come here to connect and hang out and see what's going on with my life. And yeah, I don't know. I just thought, you know what, well, I'm on this walk. Let's be real. Let's have a real conversation and connect. So I just wanted to say that hopefully I'll be posting a lot more and just coming on and talking. Um, I think I feel as like a vlogger, I have to make this content super edited. You know, like I tried with some of the other ones where there's a little bit of music, there's a little ASMR, there's a little bit of me talking and all that stuff. And to be completely honest, I don't have time for that. I don't, I barely have time for the crafting channel as it is, as Montgomery is getting more active, sleeping less. Um, I'm finding it very difficult to get my two videos in a week and editing a second channel's videos just isn't practical for me. So if you guys want to hang tight and if you guys want to just watch stuff like this, <laughs> unedited, raw, just talking, hanging out with the family, then I can definitely put out. What? What, honey? Why do we always have to do that baby talk? I don't know. And why, like, can they just make, okay, side note, when I'm walking, I prefer to walk in the street because the sidewalks are so uneven and usually like I have a drink or she starts nodding off and then you go on those big old bumps and then it disrupts everything. Yeah, tell them. So I like walking in the street, but I feel everybody's judging eyes on me because they're driving by 
and they're like, chick, there's a freaking sidewalk. Why don't you walk your baby on the sidewalk? But I don't like to. I'm doing it right now because I'm on my phone too and then I'd really be judged. But I'm like, forget this. So I guess that is why I wanted to make this video. Sorry, honey. Um, just to say, hopefully I'll be on soon. Um, take you on our journeys. We're trying to look for another house. You okay? Oh, you silly. You're so silly. <laughs> She's finding her voice and making all of these funny sounds. It's so cute. But um, we're actually in the process of looking for another house. I know all of you are probably like, you just moved. But we did. But remember too, my pregnancy was not a planned pregnancy either. So we thought we had like a little bit more time to get our ducks in a row. But that would be a boring life, right? So the house that we live in right now is, if I'm heavy breathing, it's because I'm walking. Yeah is three bedroom, two bath. And then I have like my basement, which is um, in this style house. We live in a split California. It is half of the house, the basement is. So we have one, we need an additional room for Montgomery. She can't sleep in mom and dad's bedroom forever. Uh oh, -uh, not gonna happen. She's a great sleeper and stuff, but still she needs her own space. Mom and dad need their own space. Um, and Everly and Everett, I feel like are too old, one to be sharing a room together and then two sharing a room with a sibling, her, you know, Montgomery's age. So we want an additional bedroom and the house legit has no storage whatsoever. It has one linen closet in the hallway and one coat closet um, down on the like main level. And then there's some shelving in the laundry room. And then we have our garage. So we've had to buy for me <laughs> a storage shed to box up all this stuff. Cause like I said, the basement's like half of the house. So it fits like a lot of my stuff, but like the things that I don't use, I have nowhere to store them. So we had to buy a shed for the backyard and yeah, so we just need more space. And John and I are talking about having another baby as well, <laughs> even after that really messed up pregnancy. But you guys, you know what? I'm just talking, I'm just talking. Hopefully you guys are here for, the, for a talk show. Uh, I know people are probably like, oh my gosh, another baby or another kid. But to be honest, and you know, John asked me too. He was like, well, you're already having a tough enough time like filming and this and that. Like, how is that going to go? And, you know, when I picture my life and stuff like that, like I'd rather have a successful and fulfilled home life, family life than a successful career. I mean, that's, that's what matters to me. Like my family matters to me, my children matter to me. And what I do for work is an added bonus. But at the end of the day, if it came down to being a successful content creator or her having another child, I pick having another child and being an awesome mom and wife and you know, all of that stuff. <laughs> it's trash day. I always say, why do I walk on trash day? Because you're walking the streets and it absolutely stinks. But what it is. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so I went from buying a house to the story of why we want another kid. Sorry, you guys. Real life. <laughs> Down the streets of Spring Hill, they're doing, they're building new houses at the end of the block. This is a good time though to look for, you know, junk I want to pick up. 
but it's not big trash pickup day. Okay, so anyways, so yeah. So we're on the journey of looking for new houses. You guys. There was one that went on the market and it randomly popped up on John's like search because it was in a city we were not looking for. And you guys, this house was absolutely perfection. And I mean, it totally looked updated. It was built in 1999. It looked like they completely updated it. And the basement was like a crafter's dream, y'all. Like this thing was so, so big. It even had like a kitchenette down there where like you could wash your paintbrushes and uh, you guys, it was perfect. Before we could even see it, like an hour and a half before we were supposed to go see it, our realtor called and said, I'm sorry it went under contract. That was so, I, that day I had definitely a breakdown. I started crying. Montgomery wasn't sleeping. I was a mess, but I just have to think, you know, what is meant to be will be. And that obviously was just not meant for our family right now. What, honey? All right, I'm gonna focus on her and this walk. Sorry for the abrupt. Bon voyage, huh? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. I like my morning walks, huh? Is that you? Is that the baby? Yeah, you tell them. Are you gonna show him your voice? Oh, you gonna show him your voice? Yeah. Yeah. You like your walks? Do you got poo poo? No, I don't think so. I would know. I would know. Your poo poo's are smelly, huh? Are your poo poo smelly? Yes, they are. Okay. Ooh, look at that awesome frizzy hair. Yes. Yes. You like mommy's frizzy hair? Yeah, mommy's going through the postpartum hair loss right now and it is intense. It is everywhere. All right, you guys, I'm gonna post this and I'm just gonna go with it. It's okay if you guys watch, it's okay if you don't watch, but this is this is about as much as, as we're gonna get right now. No editing involved. So I hope everybody has an amazing week. It is Friday. Maybe I can even put this out today. Um, it's Friday, so I hope you have an amazing week with your friends and your family. I hope you get to relax, maybe craft, maybe go shopping. Um, we actually don't have any football games this weekend to cheer at. So there's a festival going on. It's called like um, the Soto Festival in Kansas. So I was thinking maybe we could do something like that. Um, tonight's Friday night, so we do breakfast for dinner on Friday nights, watch a movie, and then John promised Everett that he would uh, lay down in his bed and watch gaming shows all night on YouTube with him. So that'll be cute. And then Everly and Montgomery and I could do girl stuff, huh? All right, you guys, I appreciate you so much and hopefully I'll be back on soon. Bye.